Hey y'all, hey. Okay, so tomorrow is wash day and lately with my hair care, I want to grow my hair out. Like I want my hair to be like big, coily, like afro. So I've been not putting it into braids, anything like that. I've been really just taking care of it, tucking it away, something like this and doing something like scalp massages. I wanted to share with you guys how I do my scalp, scalp massages, the benefits of them, etc, etc. I learned that I was doing scalp massages totally wrong. I was taking my fingers and going like this in my hair and then I started doing more research on scalp massages and honey, that's not how you're supposed to do them. You're supposed to actually move your scalp, okay? So you can do it with your hands, but I like to use, use this tool here. It is a scalp massaging tool, and then I also use it along with some Jamaican black castor oil. We're gonna talk all about like the benefits of scalp massaging. Um, technically, how like how often I do it. Well, first off, scalp massaging, I do it pretty, like once a day to twice a day. So it just depends on if I remember, if I have time. Um, that's how often I do it. I'm gonna bring you up a little bit higher. Hold on. Just okay, so this is currently what my hair looks like. Y'all know I am a curly girl. So this is what my hair looks like. All right, so I've been doing scalp massages so far for about, I wanna say maybe it's been like two weeks I've been doing them. So what I do, um, is that I take my Jamaican black castor oil this one here and I just literally put like a little bit throughout my scalp I don't put too much because I don't like my hair being oily and Jamaican black castor oil is already going to make your hair a little oily so you just want to be mindful of how much of it you're using and I don't apply oil every day or every time I do my scalp massages I only apply it two maybe three three times out the week once the oil is in that hair, I am then going to take my brush and begin to massage the scalp. Now before we do that, let's talk about the benefits of scalp massaging. Scalp massages increase blood flow, which do what? They're going to promote that hair growth, it's going to thicken the hair, it's also going to help out with any hair loss you may um, be experiencing or hair fallout. Now, when I am using my tool and I am um, massaging the scalp, I like to work one side to the other. So I'll just start off in front. And sometimes I'll like part my hair a little bit, like so. Put the massager directly onto my scalp and I move it like this in circular motions, okay? Taking your time, being nice and gentle with it. And I'm telling you, it's also very, very like relaxing. It's good to do this at the end of the day. But I just take it and I apply it and I just rub it in a circular motion. And then I will move a little bit further down. Just kind of moving my hair out the way as well. Just so that I make sure that this brush directly touches or lands on my scalp. But I'll do this while I'm watching a movie or while I'm laying in bed I just take the time to just take this brush and I just place it on spots on my scalp and I just make sure to gently go in circles now um, I was gonna say something but I totally forgot what I was gonna say oh you could time it so you could put a timer on it for like 10 minutes to do it I also take the brush and I also do this to my hair as well. Just to make sure we are also pushing that blood flow up. Also the neck. If you guys don't know, like a lot of your blood flow to your scalp comes from your neck. So taking your hand or a brush of some sort and massaging the neck area in the back of the head also helps out a lot. Like this. So you just want to take the brush or the massager and just bring it all the way around and just really just massage like you're brushing your hair. I think I've seen some results. I feel like my hair looks a lot like I don't want to say thicker because my hair has always been thick, but it just looks like a lot 
like healthier. I don't even know how to explain it. Like it doesn't look as like dull. And maybe that's because I've been taking care of my hair a little bit more too. So this is something that I pretty much do to contribute to my hair growth and my hair health. And it doesn't take a lot to do. Your arms could get tired though, but just switch off. <laughs> how you would know that you are doing this right is that you will feel your scalp tingle. When you feel your scalp tingling and just pulsating, that means that that blood is getting into that scalp area, is circulating, and that's what, exactly what you want. That is my scalp massage routine so that I can, you know, have healthier hair, grow out my hair a little bit more, and just keep my overall scalp um, healthy as well because scalp health is really important to having flourishing hair. I will leave um information for the tools that i use down below in the description box and yeah i will see you guys in a later video